All right, you guys, it's been a hot moment, but here I am. Divorce was final uh, beginning of April. I have made it through. So if you are about to go through one, going through one, went through one, whatever, proof in the pudding that we can survive. It has not been an easy journey. My hair looks like this most days. Um, I did the gym today. was going to take a shower. Haven't even gotten to that part yet. Got wet, wet. He's over there uh, playing his little toys and watching trolls like the cartoon episodes. But I wanted to hop on. There's going to be a lot of good things. My counselor encouraged me to get back into things that I like doing. One of those she reminded me were my planner videos because I would do my sessions and then like totally get excited when I was talking about all of you guys. So I'm going to start doing that. Yesterday, I got back into like actually using my planner. I will do a separate planner video because I'm in my Moterm. I've actually been in the Moterm since April, um, but I am using it so it looks chunky. It actually has papers that are moving and going, but I'll do that on a separate video. I also added Stalogy A5 again. Those of you that are new to my channel, you're welcome to go look through any of my videos. I've tried a whole lot of different planners and planning systems, but I chose to go with Stalogy A5 half years, not the 365s like I had been a couple reasons. First, the weight, because they're getting really heavy because I tend to decorate them and use them, but also because they fit in my Moterm A5 in the little pockets that are there. So um, one of them is for work. I'll be doing a video on that, not today, but expect it in the next week or two, and I'll show you guys how I'm using it. It. I've used an A5 Stalogy before for real estate, um, for my day-to-day -day planning, but I went back into it and found a different template that is actually being super effective. Um, but I wanted to go over real quick. I started this daily practice Stalogy A5 yesterday, so it's day one. Things that I'm using during my healing process, good counselors, um, a thousand things you don't know about me book. I found this at Target, Piccadilly, Piccadilly. Uh, is the one that makes it. I'm reading a book called Fierce Faith. I have my She Reads Truth Bible. My counselor had given this one to me and I had done nothing with it, but this week I brought it out and actually starting to use it, highlight and write notes. And then the book that some of you know that I've been, I go through, it's a daily devotional called The Language of Letting Go by Melody Beattie. This is very Al-Anon book, but a lot of people use it in 12-step programs and then just in general. It's a codependency daily devotional. When I first was going through the divorce, I was using this book like hunkering down because I needed some kind of sanity. I needed peace to come to my anxious heart. So there's a lot of highlighting and I had just really taken this book to heart and trying to dig in. And then you start feeling a little bit better. Life, you know, has some changes. I've got some positive changes in my life. Um, the kids are finally starting to adjust. We've got temper tantrums with the four-year-old Winton, but that's a whole nother gamut. Um, but overall, everything is going okay. I have one of my napkins from when I was crying in there. That goes to show. But I wanted to read real quick to you guys, May 6th. I had done this for a while, and I was getting a lot of positive feedback, and I think some people were finding it encouraging. So want to pop this on before I do the planner video. But today's reading, May 6th, is called Feeling Good. Make yourself feel good. It's our job to first make ourselves feel better and then make ourselves feel good. Recovery is not only about stopping painful feelings, it is about creating a good life for ourselves. We don't have to deny ourselves activities that help us feel good. Going to meetings, basking in the sun, exercising, taking a walk, or spending time with a friend are activities that may help us feel good. We each have our list. If we don't, we're now free to explore, experiment, and develop that list. When we find a behavior or activity that produces a good feeling, put it on the list and then you do it frequently. Let's stop denying ourselves good feelings and start doing things that make us feel good. Today, I will do one activity or behavior that I know will create a good feeling for me. If I'm uncertain about what I like, I will experiment with one behavior today. I thought that was such a good reading. That's why I wanted to hop on here to do this one. Um, I'm really working on that. I st like I said, my recovery, I was doing really good and then some situations happened and I'm completely digressing, caught myself digressing and said, I just need to get back to what worked, which was my morning routine of a lot of this. It does take a lot of time. That's the truth of the matter. Um, it usually takes me a good hour, maybe hour and a half just to get between getting situated, sitting out, reading my books, highlighting, making notes, journaling, whatever. That's the truth. That's my personal experience. Some of y'all might take one minute. Some of y'all might take 10 hours. I don't know. But I'm getting back into this. I'm going to be doing it every day. I started yesterday 
including the gym. Today I'm back at the gym. I'm drinking my 310 shake. I'm not keto right now, you guys, but I am working on just, I'm gonna start eating better. Um, and that my bones, my body, everything just feels gross. And I've been gaining a lot of weight that I'm not happy with because with my arthritis, I can actually feel the weight um, because it hurts my bones and my hands and all that stuff. But anyways, tip for you if you want. So each day I highlight uh, the topic and then I highlight the date and then I highlight just anything that stands out. And then with Astrology, I started this yesterday. I'm doing it in order of like the very first step that I do when I start my process of morning routine is I start with the codependency book. So I'm putting the codependency book up top and I just write codependency book reading. And then I have two devotionals in my Holy Bible app that I use. Um, I have a whole system on that. So if y'all are interested in learning how I do that, because I've gone through a hundred plans now, super exciting, nerd alert. But um, yeah, so I use those devotionals. Those take me just a few minutes and then I'm writing down things that stand out. So that was yesterday. Stalogy, another thing, they have like the dates and the days. So yesterday I was like, hmm, that's kind of interesting. I've been getting back into like adult coloring uh, just to help kind of rest my mind and center me. So I decided to put a couple little dots there. So it was for May 5th. But codependency book, I write down just some of my takeaways. And then the list, because it tells you to do a list, right? Like if you know, you know. And if you don't, you don't. You get to create. So right now, my list, as of right now, right, that came to mind was reading. I want to continue doing that frequently. My planner videos, I want to continue doing those frequently. Coloring, because I, like I said, I'm just really enjoying that sticker creation so i love putting stickers washi tape all that stuff a lot of planner world people we do this not uncommon you want to see more of them hop on my instagram channel or my account and you'll see that i've been decorating more um the gym time so i do 30 minutes at the gym i don't do more than that because then my body starts just uh getting overwhelmed so 30 minutes actually feels great and then you can get going for the day and then eating better but things that i put i might like so i had to think about that right now the only dang thing that i had that came to mind was sketching i'm intrigued because i'm adult coloring but i don't know that i would do it but maybe worth a shot we'll see um, but yeah, so that's what I have for you today. I hope that message inspires you. I hope that it comes across at the time and the moment that you need. I see you. I love you. Thank you for being patient with me. Thank you for walking through my life with me of these challenges. It has not been easy. It's still not easy. Good day is bad days, but you guys stay, you subscribe, um, you comment and believe it or not, all of that encouragement, um, and support has been many days a lot of what like pushes me through and reminds me that everything's going to be okay and helps me put things in perspective so with that said i'm going to hop off i'm going to keep drinking my shake um and i'm going to finish my routine so codependency book goes first my devotionals go next then i'm starting this a thousand things you don't know about me um and my bible's just a partner to highlight what sticks out of my devotional so anyways see you later bye